What's up guys, we're gonna check gas manifold pressure today on a unit heater. I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. We're gonna do it on a couple of different manometers. I have a Testo 510 and a Testo 510i. A couple things we're gonna need here is we're gonna need a barbed fitting. We have a 3 16 Allen key and some tubing here we're gonna use to connect from the barbed fitting to the manometers. Let's get to this. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades-only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com, best in trade. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check the manifold gas pressure from this tap here. There's two taps on the gas valve. This one is for the inlet pressure, which is coming from the system from the building, okay? The gas system from the building. This side here is the manifold pressure for the appliance right here. So we're gonna tap into this with a 3 16 Allen key, and we're gonna open this up. So now this is where your barbed fitting comes in. You're gonna take the threaded end, you're gonna screw it into the gas valve, and then we're gonna leave exposed the barbed fitting right here. So once your fitting is in place, you're gonna take your tubing and you're going to insert it over the barbed fitting. You wanna make sure it's nice and snug on there and it's not gonna pull off. So the first manometer we're gonna use is the Testo 510. And on the top here, there's two ports. There is a plus and a minus. So for negative and positive pressure, we are going to use the positive pressure port because we're going to be reading a positive pressure coming off the gas valve. So the 510 does have a magnet, okay, so it can sit on the machine and we are all hooked up and ready to rock here. So we're going to turn this on and we'll make sure that we're in inches of water column. So before we go ahead and check the manifold pressure, we want to come over to the nameplate and read what they're asking for. So right there it says the manifold pressure is 3.5 inches. That's what the appliance is requiring. So this appliance is up and running and we're bang on the 3.5 inches water column for the manifold here. So we don't need to adjust this at all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the 510i Okay, so now to use the 510i, we need to be in the Smart Probes app and then we need to turn on the tool and then once it connects up, when this is flashing green, it's connected up. There we go, we're flashing green very, very quickly. We're connected up and we're gonna have to go and zero that out and then we'll attach the tubing again to the positive side, which is on the right-hand side of the tool there and we're gonna go check gas pressure with the 510i and the smart probes app so to zero this out it's fairly easy we just go to the setting tab and we hit zero pressure sensor continue and now it's zeroed out and we're in inches h2o like we were with the other tool we have to make sure we're in inches water column it's very very important so we're up and running again there's our tubing there flashing green, we're connected, and we're reading roughly the same 3.5 that we were with the Tesla 510. And there's our tubing connected right there, so we can say we're good here. Now that's checking gas pressure with two different tools, checking the manifold pressure of the appliance right here, we've checked it with the 510 and the 510i Smart Probe.